So this is part two of my video of my John Deere 310J that I was having trouble with my transmission. I got my parts the other day and I just wanted to talk about the parts a little bit. I'm going to jump ahead a little wee bit. Uh, when you get the torque convert or the, uh, the pump, these bolts here are loose. And uh, when you tighten them up, you can't turn the pump. So that's why I discovered that you should really install the pump onto the torque converter. And I made some dowel pins here that fit these holes. So I had two of them installed when I tightened up those two Allen bolts. And now the pump rotates nice and smooth in here. So I'm wondering if maybe the last pump was installed and it wasn't lined up correctly and they had trouble getting the torque converter and kind of jammed it into place and the pump was struggling right from the beginning. It might have been the problem. I don't know. Anyway, these uh, pins that I made, they call for uh, installing some pins on the case here. When you install the pump, they tell you to put two of them in here to hold it lined up while you're putting it on. So that only lines up the pump. It doesn't line up all the gears inside the pump. So they're kind of like a dual purpose. Anyway, let me pull this pump off of here. So, as you can see, the, uh, the new pump has some numbers on the back of it. I don't know whether that matters or not. But the, uh, the numbers on the, on the casting are different from the, uh, the other pump, the one that was originally on there. And also, there's a machined in stamping of a, of a part number on here as well and the pump with it disassembled looks really nice compared to the other one in the last video i was wondering whether the drive was missing that turned the pump actually and all it is is raised portions on the uh, inside gear that go into those tangs on the uh, torque converter and you'll notice that on the uh, the new torque converter the john deere one those corners are stress relieved they're rounded right out in there to make it strong here's the one that broke square no relief anyway so there are differences between the pumps here i think that you know and the uh, the torque converter itself has uh has part numbers stamped in it and it has a balance weight on it so overall i think that the parts may have not have been the best quality in the world but there may have also been a problem installing them when they were when they were installed the last time. So I'm going to install everything and I'm going to put it all back together. I'll have a gauge on it and we'll test it and I'll I'll post whether I have a success or not. Thanks for watching.